Explosive volcanic eruptions send clouds full of rock and fine-grained ash to great heights in the atmosphere. Ash is spread over large areas by the wind. Gradually, the rocks and ash fall to the ground, with the largest material falling closest to the volcano. Near the vent, falling rocks can cause death and injury. People caught in a shower of rocks should protect their heads and seek refuge indoors, though the largest rocks can break through roofs and hot rocks can cause fires. People for kilometers to hundreds of kilometers downwind of an eruption are at risk from volcanic ash, both during the eruption and when ash is stirred up by the wind or human activities for months or even years later. Volcanic ash is an irritant to the skin, eyes and lungs and can affect breathing. The elderly, children and those with chronic heart or lung conditions are especially vulnerable and should avoid exposure as it may trigger conditions such as asthma. Layers of ash can bury land and buildings. Roofs may collapse under thick layers of ash and especially if the ash gets wet. The safest option is to evacuate areas near the volcano. But if caught, seek shelter in sturdy buildings, avoiding those with flat roofs. Agriculture can be impacted through damage and burial of crops and machinery and injury or death of livestock through ingestion of ash and restricted access to clean food and water. Water supplies and waste systems can be disrupted through damage, blockage or contamination. All forms of transportation may be disrupted or stopped during an ashfall and for days afterwards. Heavy ash falls can reduce visibility and make roads slippery. Vehicles can break down as engines are clogged with ash. Airports, railways and ports are commonly shut. Flights may be cancelled because airborne ash can cause catastrophic damage to aircraft. Scientists and authorities can provide information on what areas will be most affected by volcanic ash fall. For those who live near a volcano, having an emergency kit will help in the event of an eruption. If outdoors or if your indoor environment is ashy, wear a face mask designed to block fine particles. Holding cloth over your nose and mouth will provide limited protection. Skin should be covered, contact lenses removed and eyes protected. If advised to evacuate, follow all instructions and do not return until advised that it is safe. Take care when cleaning up ash as deaths and injury due to heart attacks and falls are possible. Thick deposits can be heavy and ash can easily become airborne, making breathing difficult. Many people live in areas frequently impacted by ash fall. Preparation and coordinated organized cleanup operations can help you live alongside volcanoes.